There's no reason why your kinky curly wig or any curly wig should look like this. Taking care of a curly wig is simple if you consistently do these three steps. Step one, I make sure to thoroughly detangle the hair. I'm just separating it into two sections and then for each section I work about two to three tracks at a time and using a detangling comb of choice, I will just thoroughly comb that section until I can run the comb freely through the hair and then I will move up the tracks so this is the first step and it is a crucial step if you skip this step you might as well just throw your wig in the bin you need to detangle your curly wigs daily weekly however often you wear your wigs i would advise you to detangle your curly wigs as much as possible you don't even need to use a comb if you do it regularly you can just put some water or conditioner and finger detangle at the end your wig should look like this all puffed out or poofed out with little to zero curl definition before you put it in water to wash it make sure that you remove any residual glue or any glue on the lace i'm using a hack that i saw on tiktok and i'm just finishing up with some olive oil to remove any residual glue but most of it was removed using this hack I submerge the wig into lukewarm water and then I just add the shampoo over the hair. So I'll, I'll use my hands to wash the hair first and then I will use the detangling brush that I used in the first step just to remove any tangles that may have been introduced as the wig gets into contact with, with the water. And then I move on to the inside of the wig, so the lace area, the cap area, the wig cap area. And I'm also thorough with that because that also gets dirty with all the glue and also get into contact with your own hair. Then I will rinse it in lukewarm water before I condition it. I add a generous amount of conditioner and I just rake it through the hair using my hands. I'll be steaming the wig to ensure that the products get absorbed into the hair and the hair comes out silky but if you don't have a steamer you can just put it in the microwave or you can just fill a tub with boiling water and then place the plastic on there and then cover it with a towel. This is how the hair looks immediately after air drying. I didn't put any product into it. So now what do you do to maintain the hair in between these washes? Click or tap on this video to find out how. Thanks for watching. See you in my next one.